Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be going over the additive synthesis engine of SynthMaster. I'm just going to play a little sound for you here. And then I froze it. I have two uh, FFT-based spectrum analyzers going on here. So you'll notice that that sawtooth has a lot of upper harmonics, right? Sawtooths are usually very rich. They're probably the richest uh, basic uh, waveform you can get. And what I'll do is then I will open up our sign. Right, and our sine wave is something with, you know, is not as rich in its harmonics. Now, this is called the fundamental, right? This saw also has a fundamental, but then it has another sine wave, and then another sine wave, and then another one, and then another one, and they just go, and they just keep on going, and you can get, you know, all these different sine waves to make a uh, saw wave, right? So that's what additive synthesis is. And that's why I kind of saved this for last. This is kind of adding. Adding harmonics to create, you know, uh, anything really. If you have enough sine waves, you can create any sound, right? And uh, that's basically how, like, uh, all that fun stuff works. That's the basis of additive, additive synthesis. Uh, but what this is used for, this is really useful. You have all of these different waves that you can just stack on top of each other, and you have all of your integers. You know what integers are. So what we can do, right, what we can do is load in something that's not so much a, let's go square, and we'll set the integer of this to 12. Well, we want like a rich upper harmonic of a sawtooth. Right, see that? Right, something very electro -y. Pretty fun. We'll set this base integer to zero. And then we'll add a sine wave to round it out and just give it some meat. Right? And this is what additive synthesis is. Remember the integers. We can have a seventh or a fifth. I think it's a fifth. We have a fifth uh, sawtooth. Right, and you can just make some really unique sounds. And that's just with four oscillators. But they're all stacked up. And uh, that's all well and good. I'm going to show you something else with this just for fun. And this is what you can really do. So you can do uh, sawtooth, sawtooth, and we can pan these all to the left. And then uh, sawtooth, sawtooth, pan these all to the right. Detune slightly there, detune slightly there. And uh, let's set the integer to one, integer one, integer one. All right, so we have four uh, sounds here. Right, so we can essentially have an eight voice kind of oscillator and we can have total control over the voices. So say if we want like one voice to be a sneaky little square. Or if we want another voice, if we want to change another one to, let's say, uh, one of the Roland Juno sounds. Right, you can really get some interesting tones that way. And that's just with four. And you can, you know, have, I don't even know how many, uh, eight. Eight times two, 16. 32, 32 waves plus unison. That's a lot of, that's a lot of uh, sounds there. So that's a big sound you can create. And that's just with panning and uh, detuning. You can detune these even more. So if you have seven of these, you can essentially recreate the super saw and have control over each kind of, nuance of that super saw you can even add a sine wave uh, you can swap one out and create uh, all new kind of sounds but yeah uh, that's basically uh, additive synthesis uh, it's a big subject but completely out of the scope of the time that we have um, and it's really fun to go about and do things that way all right that is additive synthesis hope you learn stuff and we'll be back